Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I filmed this look today and since it's the most gorgeous eyeshadow of my life, I figured I should do as many videos as possible in it. So I thought of two other videos to do. So I did a palette tag and then also I'm going to be decluttering my vanity more tonight. So let's get into the drawers that we will be um, entering into, shall we? So I think we're going to do these top three drawers here tonight. So this one here is my palette drawer, if you can tell. This one here is like random crap, samples, garbage stuff. And this one here is extras, highlighters, lots of stuff. So my goal tonight is to kind of declutter any garbage, declutter any makeup I'm not going to use or don't need, and then um, try and figure out a decent way to organize them. So I have a couple of like bo old boxy charm boxes that I might try and use to like segment stuff. So let's get into my palette drawer over here. I'm not really planning on decluttering any of my palettes at this point. Um, I started out this year by doing a palette we can we can palette rotation, and I really enjoy that because that helped me see what palettes I do and don't like. Um, I found most of my palettes I do like. I got rid of one palette. And honestly, I don't even remember what the palette was. Well, that should tell you I really didn't like that much. Make a three palette. Um, so I technically didn't even declare that. That's just in my pro kit now. Okay, anyways, so I also have false eyelashes in here. Ideally, I would like to get all of my palettes in one drawer. I don't know if that's going to happen, and I don't know if that includes, if I'm thinking face palettes as well, or just eyeshadow palettes, so let's kind of just dive on in. I might put face palettes in like this drawer over here. I do have like a little plastic box for makeup, so I might try it in there and see if what I can fit in there. I, anyways. Okay. So I guess to start, let's start with my biggest palettes. See, the thing is, so the biggest palette right now or that I own is my Jaclyn Hill Morphe one. But that one, I'm using so much, I don't really want to put it in the back of the drawer. So I'm going to put that in the front. And I'll show you guys, like, partway through what's going on. And then also, um, like, how it ends up looking. Um, okay, so here's my Kat Von D Alchemist palette. I'm going to keep this separate. I'm going to keep all of my base palettes out of it right now. And eyelashes, also going to keep out of it. So my NARS... Cheek palette, Smashbox highlighter palette. Such a pretty palette. I'm excited to start using this again. I just didn't feel like it was very good for summer. So, uh, my Becca face palette also love. Hey, check out that pan, guys. You see it? Yeah, yeah, there's pan there. Yep, pan right there. That's right. Not that this is a painting video, but I'm really proud of that. So, anyways, okay, moving on. Okay, so I have my Storybook Cosmetic one. Okay. Pretty much good. Okay. So, I think for my second palette in the lineup, so I want to start with the back first. That's what I want to do, guys. So what I'm going to do with the back, I'm going to put my least used palettes this way in the drawer rather than this way because uh, I feel like that might be easier to store them that way. Do you guys ever have like seasonal ones as well? Like I have the pastel goth. Um, one, but I feel like I'm not going to really be using this. I might use like the green and gray a little bit, but I really won't be using this, you know, until next springtime. Put 
this one. Okay. Having, I feel like that Storybooks cosmetic one is actually going to make me look back there and think about it because that one is newer to me and I haven't used it very much because it honestly it doesn't inspire me that much. So, it's a sore subject guys, sore subject. Okay, now that those are down there, I have the Morphe and then my main Makeup Geek one. Um, and then we're going to do like Shade and Light, Natasha Denona. So then I have all of my like singles. I do have a couple, um, so this is like purples and colors. Um, that I don't use as much for Makeup Geek. And then I've got like my greens more so. And then I have a couple of blush plus like highlighter duochrome ones. These ones here. So they're technically more face palettes. But... But I use them. You know, like... I don't know. I'll see how these go. Let's see how these go. Okay. I'm actually kind of liking how this is shaping up to be organized. Oh, and then my MAC palette as well, which I will be using more so now that it's fall. And then Modern Renaissance palette. Alright, let me show you the drawer, you guys. That wasn't too bad. So here's the drawer. Hey, I got lots of space in there. Look at that. I can use a few more palettes. Just kidding. Sort of. Um, I might be putting face palettes in there. I'm not sure yet. So let's go to this drawer over here. Let me show you guys again what this one looks like. So yeah, lots of crap in there. Let's do it. Sorry, that was wiggly. Let's do it. Okay, so I have my Makeup Geek highlighters, which I would love to store like this, you know, upwards. But one of them is all shattered. <laughs> and it makes me so, so sad. It's a Midnight Sun. It's gorgeous. I'm broken on camera. Um, so I actually will probably just order a new one of those eventually, but I'm going to try and use it as much as possible. So... Those are all my Makeup Geek highlighters. Wait, two, there's my six one. I have six of those. really like them, you guys. Okay. I have an extra mascara. I forgot about this. So I have a, a Youth to the People moisturizing cream that I need to use. Garbage. Uh, here's a friction stick. I think this is supposed to be like an exfoliator. Ew, it smells disgusting. This is a Makeup Forever primer. I'm almost done with my current one and then I'll have a new one of these. I actually do like that primer decently, so I will be keeping that. Um, I've got mineral cream, sunscreen thing. I'm not going to use this. I'm going to toss it. This. Gonna, this is a Chloe sample. I'm going to toss that. Here's an Urban Decay Perversion Mascara sample. I'm going to keep that. A charger for my mirror. Some of, more ponytails that go in the drawer underneath. Ooh, I have another pretty one. Oh, I have a Dior Mascara. I'll keep that one. I'm going to throw away all of these little perfume samples. I'm trying to kind of work all these out of my life um because I want more now like I want to use essential oils as my perfume from now on and so I have a little perfume collection I'm kind of trying to go through speaking of which I should put my perfume I'm trying to pan on right now anyways okay so this is a super shock shadow I only have so I have the two Kathleen lights collaborations uh for my color pop collection, but I only got a couple of her first one, but anyways, um, I only like a couple of them, so this is the, I'm going to keep Weenie, um, I'm going to keep Lace, at least at this point, I'm going to toss Telepathy, because I literally have never used this, and it's broken, so that's going to be tossed, 
Um, I'm going to keep the Kathleen Lights color. I'd really love to pan one of these, <laughs> to be honest. I really would. don't know if it's going to happen, but... Here is a blush, a uh, mascara 3D blush in Dahlia, I believe. I, I love her blush, her cream blushes. I have a Bobby Brown mascara. Got a good collection of mascara. Um, I have some sort of sample. I have no idea what it is. I think they gave that to me without me, like, asking for it. Alright, we got Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser. I'm going to toss it. This is a Bare Minerals something or other. I'm going to toss that. An uh, extra Makeup Geek Nude Eyeliner Pencil because I'm currently using up my NARS one, so I'm going to need a new one. Uh, this is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. I will keep this. This is a... Sounds almost empty dry shampoo that I will try and use once and see if that even works once. More hair things that I need to put underneath. Um, I have a Glam Glow Super Med Clearing Treatment. Honestly, I think I'll save this. Um... I think I'm going to keep it and use it because I do enjoy this, uh, even though I know they don't necessarily have the best ingredients. Um, oh, I forgot about this. Cora's Greek Yogurt Foaming Cream Cleanser. I do like the brand Cora's. Um, I have an RCMA No Color Powder. I have an Orbe Opry's Beach Wave and Shine Spray. I don't know. I might toss that. I'm going to toss that. Here's a pen, don't need that. I have eye drops. It's good for foiling. Which, by the way, the eyeshadow, not foiled on my eyes. That's just glitter glue and you're good to go. And Tasha done on the shadows. Um, another one of those. I have an extra, I like a travel size makeup setting spray. Gotta keep that. Uh, I have a Dr. Jar UV Sun Fluid SPF 30. I'm gonna toss this. I'm just. I'm not gonna use it. I know myself. Uh, I have a Cover FX mattifying primer. I will keep this. Dr. Dennis Gross Daily Peel. Yeah. Box. I have a. Cream contour. I need to start doing my cream contour more. I really, really like the way cream contour looks. So natural. I have a invoice. A perfume sample I'm not going to keep. Simple human mirror directions. A cleaner. A couple more super shock shadows. So I've got Midnight from Kathleen Lights. Also going to toss that. Completely shattered and broken. Um, and then... Porter. I will keep Porter. So I'm going to keep four Kathleen Light Super Shock Shadows. A couple more ponytails. Okay, so let me show you what the drawer looks like. Here's the drawer now. So I have this little organizer in here that I do really like. It doesn't fit the other way. I feel like I can utilize it more. Oh, I got some crap in here. So that's what it looks like at this point. 